Good afternoon, everyone. I am back, Lucha FM, back with some TW 2020 Fight Club Pro Local to Global. I just want to say thank you, as always, to the people who've been following. I hope you appreciate the new format. People seem to be watching the edited version more than the full version, so moving forward, I'll probably carry on doing it as that. So it'll be like you'll have the full unedited version. And then you'll have the edited version with captions and stuff like that. Now, I am using an AI editor to do the edited version as a little experiment to see whether it's worth. Let me know if you're not liking the edited versions because of that reason. And then I will just go back to the original format, just doing the full version and that. So, yeah, but we're doing really well at the moment. We've got oh, just over 100 grand in the bank. We've got 64% momentum. I think it's like 4% prestige. We've got four broadcasting deals, granted they're only small ones, but things are looking up. So hopefully we can keep on going and eventually get a TV deal for like a weekly hour show or some of that and just keep going from there really. So yeah, so I'll be back in a second with the first show of the episode. Right, so we're back. First show of the episode we just got a few backstage incidents so Leighton Buzzard so Roy Knight was pleased with the decision so that's good no reaction from Leighton Buzzard so I don't know if he liked if he was okay with that Prince Amen I mean sorry caused heat with cyanide when he kept going he kept being openly critical of his in-ring work as an employer choose how to deal with Prince I mean again I'm going to go with fine because you can't be seen to be slacking off somebody else it's not on he's annoyed oh well he'll have to do with it so cyanide is pleased with that so guess what we're going to do first match of the show everyone if it lets me oh i'll go through this first sorry automatic save sorry about that right so what we're going to do is we're going to do two grudge matches to open the show so we're doing late and buzzard this is roy knight 15 minutes and we'll have roy knight go over as punishment we will have Roy Knight dominate as well, because I'm a spiteful man. I don't care. You have to get on with it late and buzzard. That will teach you to be in a knobhead. So, same with Prince Amin. Who was the wrestler now? Who was it? Oh, God, why can I not remember? Right on. Male. Oh, Cyanide. That's it. There you go. Cyanide. 15 minutes. We'll have Cyanide win. And then we'll have Cyanide dominate. There we go. That'll teach them. Right, so let's do attack. Let's, do, let's go back to the actual show now. So, tag team view exclude already booked so we'll do we'll do this new way to click this is i've called them the dimer heart so it's the dynamite kids dynamite kids son tommy thomas billington and i think it's owen hart's son oj hart so i don't know oh, balls pressed the wrong thing there right what was it again these wouldn't it that's it new way to click sorry i'm all over the place this morning I'll, i will get better as the uh, as the episode goes on i promise i'm hearts i'm just a bit out of touch if i'm honest with you i haven't played this for about a week so i'm a bit rusty all right so 15 minutes we'll just leave it as it is we need to do some angles so let's do some angles we'll do prince i mean fighting cyanide there you go that and then we'll do an angle with Leighton buzzard and roy knight and and then Roy Knight fight in. There we go. Six minutes. Jumps are good. So that's that. Sorry, I just need to adjust Baxter because it keeps sliding towards my keyboard so I can't move my mouse pad. There we go, Baxter. Right, that's him sorted. Right, let me just have a look at my storylines. Let me just double check what I'm doing. Ginny versus Millie. Because they haven't I don't think they've wrestled each other for a while. Twenty minutes. We'll leave it blank. Ginny might end up losing this one. Might be the first time she loses in a long time. But we'll leave it open. She probably still will win. And then we'll do Kenny Williams versus Nathan Cruz. Because that was one match I wanted to try out. I think actually, was that the match that we had at last show? I can't remember. We're going to go open match, all out match. And we'll see what happens. Might be, might work out well, it might not. Yeah. So we're going to leave that open as well. So Nathan Cruz might end up being the new champion. We've still got... So we'll change that for 25 minutes. All right, so that's that. Let me just check the booking analysis, see if there's anything. Yep, Leighton or Leighton Buzzard is furious, but we don't care. Bullies deserve to be bullied back. That's my rule. We're going to humiliate them now. Right, so we've got, we won't be penalised, so that's good. So we're just going to crack on with the show, see how we get on. First show of the episode. So the match with Roy Knight and Leighton Buzzard got a 50 rating. Gave this match a boost. The match got the crowd hotter. The match started the show, and it's got the show to a strong start, so that's good. Roy Knight was, Leighton Buzzard's pretty good in the ring. 62 rating, so it's not too bad. 
Roy Knight let the side down this match. Angle afterwards did okay, and then this match did the angle with Prince Amin and Sinai got a 23. The match got a 38 rating. Prince Amin is got a 40 rating, so he's a standout performer, but them two went really very good. 62 rating for the tag team match with the New Age Click defeating the Diner Hearts when Dicky Divers pinned OJ Hart with the Dicky Clash. Sorry, I'm a child. I am a child with a child with a childlike sense of humour. That Thomas Billington shown in this match, so he was probably the standout performer. Yeah, he was. He is carrying OJ Hart at this point, but hopefully the tag team will progress as they go along and OJ Hart will start doing well as well. And then we had Ginny defeating Millie McKenzie, got a 70 rating. And then the main event, Kenny Williams did defeat Nathan Cruz, and then he made he's made... Number 15 defense of his heavyweight title, but 74 rating for that one, which isn't pr isn't is pretty good. Starbucks let the, let the side down on the announce table. The match dragged at the end, so maybe next time just do a normal match with them too. Hopefully that'll work out better. But anyway, increased our popularity in 14 regions. We got a 66 rate, and we got 92 people, which I think we got that last show or something like that. I'll have a look in a sec. So not too bad for the first show of the episode. I'll just quickly wait for this to hurry up and then I'll have a look and see if that is a new attendance record. I don't think it is. I think we got the same last show. We could have got a better show. I just wanted to punish these bullies. So, but Leighton Buzz is not too bad in the ring. Prince Aneem. I mean, I'm going to get rid of Cyanide and Prince Aneem because they're just rubbish. I'm going to start getting rid of any wrestlers that are rubbish, basically. So the roster might get a little bit smaller, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Just wait for this solo. But yeah, as always, thank you for watching and supporting. I do appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the journey. We're getting there slowly but surely with Fight Club Pro. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just sort her out. Right. So Wrestle House got 3,857 viewers, 0 0.01 TV rate. So 300, 3,127 viewers in that one. So yeah, right. Let me just check before we go to the next episode next part of the episode sorry a wrestle house oh no so 93 was our highest attendance so far but not too bad though best overall show rating we've done for a long time i think but it looks a bit oh no slightly better than the last show so that yeah slightly better in show rating but more attendance so i reckon the next show we do because obviously we won't have two matches that were just put together or three matches because the tag team match could have been better so these like these matches here won't be on there. So I've just as of just right now, I've just improved the production side, upgraded them slightly, just to help us out a little bit. Basically, like I said, I think we'll keep upgrading as our money goes up. We'll just keep upgrading, but we've just got to be careful. We don't want to end up going crazy. But yeah, let's start another upgrade. So we'll go rapid. There you go. So we're up in our merchandise as well. As I said, we've currently got £124,132 or dollars, whatever but there's dollars in this. We made a profit of 19137 So let's just look at the last two months. We made 10000 in September from performance, 837 from ticket sales, £100, $100 sorry, from broadcast revenue. Sponsors was 5320 Merchandise was 106 And then the Alliance got us 20376 And then outgoings wise, workers were only about nine grand, three grand for, sh three grand for show costs. Marketing, 75 £240 coming out for production. And then media was 3000 So production side will cost us a bit more now, but that's fine. And then October, we've got 19 thousand from performance, 828 from ticket sales, 99 from broadcast revenue. Sponsors was 6,336, 105 dollars for merchandise, and then 24,804 for the alliance payout. So that is basically keeping us in profit. I think without that, I think we'd struggle. So we're very lucky in that aspect. So yeah, next show we've got is FCW World Warriors. So let's just See how we get on from that. Hopefully we can try and book a very good show. I did get rid of Cyanide and Prince Amin. And I will be getting rid of a, a few workers every after every show if they don't perform. Like I said, I want to get the rust down as much as possible to save on costs. And also it just makes sense logistically at the moment. We can always get better workers down the road. Maybe get a few American, a few Japanese or a few Mexican wrestlers now coming in. Because we're getting a little bit of momentum. and can afford it as well just got a backstage incident so all oh, these this ain't good is it so carl misery 
cause heat backstage when a mean spirited rib called Cold Misery Spike Trivet. I need to remember to do this. Oh, I can't. Damn it. Okay. Oh, I can. What am I about? So, Cold Misery, and you. There we go. Right, you're going to get fined. So, he got a small positive impact from Cold upon Cold Misery, but now he has similar attention with us. And Spike Trivet is pleased with that. Got another incident. Again, a lot of incidents lately. Last two shows, we've had nothing but incidents. Morgan Webster is being obnoxious and eventually beat up Steve. Xavier after a fight broke out between them. I'm going to suspend him for that because you don't do that. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. I don't want to. Oh, I'm going to have to find him, I think, then. But yeah. I don't want to get rid of the Morgan Webster. So he's one of my best workers. Oh, my God. Roy Knight. Will you stop getting in trouble, young man? All right, let's find you. Oh, okay. At least it. Oh, no. Okay. So this is not too bad. That's a neat. That's a okay one to deal with. Yeah. Not, not a good start to this show, is it? With all these backstage incidents. Right. Let's start the show strong. Let's have a women's match. Oh no, we haven't had Blue Kane in a match for ages, have we? All right, so let's do that. And then who are we going to have Blue Kane go against? Who hasn't he wrestled? Oh, there you go. No, actually, no, not Dave Mastiff, because I don't want Dave Mastiff to lose. There we go. Jordan breaks. I apologise. We'll go 15 minutes. See if it'll let us do that. We'll just do a regular match for this one. That's fine. Jordan breaks. We don't care about you. All right, so let's do a women's match now. Ginny. Who's Ginny going against? Who hasn't wrestled yet? Oh, Raven Creed. Let's try her. See if she's any good. She's somebody I brought in recently. We'll give her a tryout. She can lose to Ginny. She can be Ginny's next victim. Actually, let's do quite a few tag teams. Let's do four-way tag. There you go. Get a few of these tag teams sorted. Male tag team view. Wave Busters. We'll try them out. Nathan Cruz is pretty good. UK Hooligans. We'll put them in there. The movement? No, not yet. The Marudas. Put them in there. And then we'll put in the Dino Hearts as well. So there's, there's quite a few good workers in here. So this should be a good match. We'll do 20 minutes. Tag titles, oh no, sorry, tag titles on the line because the Hoogans are the tag champions. We'll leave it blank and we'll, so it'll be a nice surprise for us all. All right, we need to do an angle with Ginny. Let's me try it and Creed. So we'll do that, we'll push that. So that'll be like a post match attack. Right, oh, we'll do another, we'll do an angle with Blue Fighting Jordan. Breaks, so push that up here. That's the angle sorted, so that helps us out a bit. Might have to do another angle in a bit though. Right, so let's think about main matches now. So we've got, I reckon, Morgan Webster versus Mark Andrews. That'll be a good semi main event. I've got 20 minutes. We'll do still the show. Actually, no, we'll leave it as a normal match. And then we'll do the main event, which will be Kenny Williams versus Dave Mastiff. I need Kenny winning this one because I don't fancy Dave Mastiff as my heavyweight champion. That's that. Let's just check the booking analysis before we start. Jordan Brick breaks isn't happy. We don't care. They don't like the fact we're using OJ Hart again, but it is what it is. Right, so the Blue Kane Jordan breaks match got 48. Blue Kane got a in-ring performance of 28. The push for Blue Kane continues. The angle afterwards got 34. 67. That's pretty good, actually. But, yeah... Raven Creed, not very good. I think if you can't get a, I think from now on, if what I'm going to do, anybody that gets a in a normal regular match, if it's a, if I do like a steal the show and they get under fifty, then I won't take that into account. But if they in a regular normal match, if they can't any room performance of over fifty, then they get released the next day. So Raven Creed is going. If I can remember that, I'll probably forget after this show. But yeah, the match. The angle afterwards got a 44. Ginny continues to dominate. I do need to add a women's title at some point. So the Hooligans retain their tag titles. Dino Hearts were the first team eliminated, then the Marudas, and then the Wave Busters. So let's just see. So Nathan Cruz had an in-ring performance of 77, so he's probably the standout performer. Thomas Billington had a 71 rate. So Thomas Billington could probably be a decent singles worker, to be honest. Anybody else stood out? Not really. Roy Knight was really off his game. Thomas Billington has a gimmick. It's getting stale. So I need to change his gimmick if I can remember. Right, so in the semi-main events, Mark Andrews defeat Morgan Webster. And that got a 78 rating, which was really good. Probably one of the best match ratings we've ever had. I think Kenny Williams had a match against... The first show we ever did, we had a main event that had 80 rating. with really. Kid Like Us 2 versus Kenny Williams. I think that's the best match we've done. I don't think we've done a better rating than 80 for a match, but that's pretty good. Mark Andrews, unfortunately, letting me side down, but still a good match. Is this going to let me do... There we go. For some reason, my mouse was playing up there. Right, so, and then the main event, Kenny Williams defeated Dave Massive. Got a 71 rating, so big Dave, doing all right. 
Kenny Williams and Dave must have had great chemistry, so that's good to know. 69 rating for the show overall. We increased our popularity in 14 regions. We've equaled our highest ever attendance at 93, so that's good. Yeah, I need to get rid of Raven Creed and change Thomas Billington's gimmick. Once this show has finished, it lets me. It's just taking a while to load. But yeah, thank you as always. I do appreciate you continuing to follow me. I'm just checking how long I've been recording for. But yeah, so thank you for your continued support. Please subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. You've been watching the content. It does make a big difference because the more people that subscribe and watch the videos the more likelihood youtube will push out my content to people so i mean you know a lot of us tw 2020 content creators the more that, that gets pushed out there the more the game becomes popular the more people end up doing content for it and it'll just build it might change adam ryland's mind about not doing another tw game or maybe somebody else might come along and do another game similar. I know there's, there's a game called Pro Wrestling Sim, which is sort of similar to TW, but I would say it's not as good. Anyway, right, so FCW World Warriors was shown last night and got and got a, a less than a 0.01 TV rating. So 3,200 viewers with 4,271 views overall. So before we go, let's just have a quick look at the... So we've got 105 thousand pounds available 56 momentum four percent prestige we haven't got an event for a while and um, i don't think there's anything else i need to show so just a quick look so nathan cruz is very good star presence and extremely impressive charisma so maybe next show we might be looking at giving him start giving him a big push i think killer kelly continues to be one of the most popular ones in here which i, I never seem to book her for some reason i keep forgetting I need to start booking them more. And then Michael Oku is doing well as well. And then following that, we've got BT Gunn and Mark Andrews. Next big things, Reese, Luke Jacobs, Raven Creed. Oh, okay. Well, they do rate Raven Creed. Maybe I'll give her another chance, see how she gets on. And then Hot Prospects, Luke Jacobs, Nightshade, JJ Gale, Bursa, and Lucas Archer. Best Talkers, BT Gunn, Grado, TK Cooper, Shah Samuels, and Jeff Polo. Showstoppers, Nathan Cruz, Mark Andrews, Michael Oku, BT Gunn, and Spike Trivet. And then Ring Generals, Nathan Cruz, Morgan Webster, Spike Trivet, Mark Andrews, Killer Kelly. And who's hot at the moment? Joseph. Connors, Kenny Williams, Ginny, Thomas Billington, and Blue Kane. Who's not? Leighton Buzzard, Jordan Brakes, Lena Austin, Elijah, and Raven Creed. Let's have a look to see if there's any hidden gems here. Ethan Allen, Captain Sex, Sex Sexy, Sexy. No, we won't bother with him. Danny Duggan, CJ Connors, and Nico Angeli. But anyway, right on that note, I shall uh, bid you adieu, as they say. But yeah, thank you as always. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will be back on. I just need this. I'll be back on Sunday with another TW 2020 Fight Club Pro episode. So enjoy this and enjoy the, your weekend. And I'll speak to you on Sunday. Bye.